Hartford leading 17 to 11 after the first quarter. And Jackson State put a 17 spot on in the second quarter. And just at the last second, the Lady Pioneers ended up adding 12 and 13 points for the quarter to take the two point lead. The, as we said at the, uh, as we were going to the break, Talia Cawthorn with 19 points leads all scores. And Anaya Boone, 16 points for the Lady Pioneers. And the Lady Green Jays will be moving right to left. Lady Green Jays trying to pick up where they left off. Shots no good hauled in by Snow Scott for the Lady Pioneers. And they'll have their first chance on the offensive end in the second half. Three-pointer on the way, no good there from Armani Tolliver, hauled in by Jackson State in the corner. She was Travis, somehow beat the trap between Rankins and Tolliver, no push the floor all the way the other way. Three-pointer on the way, no good off the back of the rim. Jackson State gets her own rebound, though, almost tipped out by Snow Scott, but the Lady Green Jays still have it. And we're gonna get a charge taken by Haley Davis there. Davis beat her to the spot. It's number 11. Uh, Collier picking up the foul. Uh, yeah, Monty Collier with her third foul. And uh, Kira McGee back into the game for the Lady Green Jays after she committed three fouls in the first quarter. Tolliver kicks it back out. Scott, top of the key. Scott gives it right back to Tolliver. Cross court Rankins, Rankins, Davis in the corner. Five seconds on the shot clock. Davis, got to get a shot up, doesn't get a shot up. It was tipped, looked like right there by Bess, and the shot clock's going to expire, and it's going to go back to Jackson State. McGee, guarded by Rankins at half court. McGee drives right. Floater on the way, no good, rims in and out. Rebounded by Anaya Boone. McGee comes into this game leading Jackson State in points per game at 16.3. So a very big part of their offense. Davis picks up her dribble, trap. Now find Rankins. Rankins to Tolliver. Tolliver's got 10 seconds on the shot clock here. Dribbles all the way out to the key. Pump fake to Davis. Now we'll give it to Davis. Davis going to let it fly from three. And Haley Davis, two for two from three-point range tonight and then increases it to a five-point Lady Pioneer lead, and we have our first, uh, uh, first, first basket of the second half. Bess trying to set up the offense for the Lady Green Jays. Working on Haley Davis. Now she'll drive, and another charge by Haley Davis that was taken. Demia Bess with her first foul of the contest. She's missed two free throws. She's, I believe she's played the whole game, number zero for Jackson State. I don't know that I've seen her sit, but she's not in the uh, scoring column. She finally got her first foul. Lady Pioneers taking some charges tonight. Yes, they are. Tolliver picks up her dribble. Her pass is deflected. Lady Green Jays pick it up, and now they move three on three breakaway. McGee kicks it out. Floater on the way from the free throw line. Rolls in after a, a couple of bounces. Number three, Malai Hughes picking up the basket. Averaging 10 points per game for the Lady Green Jays. Third best on the team. Tolver in the corner, Haley Davis. Davis double team, looking down low, Rankins. Rankins hook shot good. A Kareem style hook shot, except it wasn't a sky hook. She kind of shot it from her waist. Now Jackson State not wasting any time. They run down the floor. No good. Rebounded by number 10, uh, Tia Hyman. Gets the put back to go and brings it down to a three-point Lady Pioneer lead now. Both teams playing zone defense here throughout mo most of the whole game. Davis in the corner again. Three-pointer off the back of the rim. No good. Too much on that shot. Hauled in by McGee. And McGee trying to go coast to coast here on Rankins. Slows it down. Now finds Hughes. Hughes drives. Blocked by Anaya Boone. Good defense from Boone. Hauled in by Rankins. Now the Lady Pioneers will head up the other way. It's a three on five. Tolliver now to the wing. Davis. 
Davis calls for a screen from Tolliver. Coach Key trying to set up a play. Tolliver double teams. Kicks it to Anaya Boom. Boom to Snow Scott. Snow Scott gonna let it fly, and a deep three-pointer is good from Snow Scott. And it's up to a six-point lead here for the Lady Pioneers. We're gonna get a timeout on the floor. Let's start gonna get a full timeout here, and we'll take a 30, we'll take a 30-second break. You're listening to the Vol State Sports Network. Welcome back here to Pickle Field House from Gallatin, Tennessee. My name's Kurt Raines, joined here with Tim Reese and the Lady Pine, your Lady Pioneers lead, the visiting Lady Green Jays from Jackson State, 38-32. And a pretty close game so far. It was all Lady Pioneers in the first quarter, all Lady Green Jays in the second quarter, and it's been pretty even so far here in the second half, just under six minutes to play in the third. Jackson State going right to left. Kicks it out Hughes. Hughes down low. Pump fake. Good by Hyman. Got Davis to bite on the pump fake. And it cuts it down now to a four-point Lady Pioneer lead. Tia Hyman now with nine points. She's six foot one. Tallest one on the court. Davis on the wing. Scott now finds Armani Tolliver. Rankin's trying to post up down low. Kicks it to Anaya Boone. Boone driving. Boone stepped through. Good. And the foul. She'll go to the line for a chance to make it a three-point play. And a nice step through by Anaya Boone there. And drawing the foul. Get the bucket to go on a tough angle. She was driving on the baseline. Tia Hyman with her second foul of the contest. That's a second or third of the quarter as Anaya Boone will try to make it a three-point convention. And she does. Now it's going to be Jackson State pushing the pace the other way here. Double teamed in the corner by Haley Davis and Tolliver. Armani Tolliver with the steal, and now she'll head the other way. No look pass to Anaya Boone. Boone shot rims in and out. And I'm sure that bench would have exploded along with Anaya Boone if that shot would have fell. A tough shot by Anaya Boone almost got it to fall on a breakaway and a nice no look pass from Armani Tolliver. Pass goes out of bound by Bess. Kind of almost like a lob type pass to Tia Hyman. Well, Talia Cothern is now checked into the game for the Lady Green Jays. Let's see if Coach Key is found a game plan or a halftime adjustment <laughs> to stop Cawthorn. Well, both teams went with their original starting five for the second half, which meant that Cawthorn was sitting the bench with 19 points. Scott's not trying to set up a play here. Fakes right, drives left. Scott right-handed layup, no good. Great play by Anaya Boone to knock it away from Bess. Boone back out of Davis. Davis has five seconds, calls for a screen from Boone. Now she'll drive left. Davis has got to get the shot off. Floater's no good. Hauled in by Armani Tolliver. Shot didn't hit the rim, though. I think it hit the bottom of the backboard. Oh, did it? I, I, I thought it hit I the rim. I thought it rim. hit the rim, but. Uh. I did, too. I thought it may, may have grazed it, but I guess not. Just a seven-point Lady Pioneer lead here with four minutes to play in the third. McGee coast to coast. Right-handed layup is good. Her first two points of the game. And she leads 
this Lady Green Jay team with 16.3 points a game. Boone driving, right-handed layup, no good. Left it just short. Best Hall's in the rebound, picked up by Haley Davis at half court. Now finds McGee. McGee going to let it fly from three, oh. banks it in. I, we have a good, we have a good angle of seeing the shot here. I didn't think it was going to go in, but textbook bank shot there from the wing, and it's only a two-point Lady Pioneer lead here. In the corner, Davis. Davis thought about a three-pointer. Drives, lay up, no good. That bended physics there looked like it. Anaya Boone's uh, putback attempts, no good, but foul, and she'll head to the free throw line. And with her third is, uh, according to my unofficial scorebook, I believe he just, GA announcer said that was her second. But First free throw, no good from Anaya Boone. R.G. White checking into the game for the Lady Pioneers for Haley Davis. Second shot on the way from Boone is good. It's now a three-point Lady Pioneer lead as Emma Disney is going to check back into the game. Disney checking in for Anaya Boone. Anaya Boone deservingly taking a seat on the bench, getting rested up here. McGee, a half court picked up by Armani Tolliver. She'll give it to Hughes. Hughes down low, Hyman. Hyman, turnaround shot, no good. Rebounded by Snow Scott for the Lady Pioneers, and she'll push the, push the pace all the way down the floor, and now she'll kick it back out to Armani Tolliver, and the Lady Pioneers will set up their offense. Tolliver to Scott. Tolliver sets a screen to Scott. Scott tried to look for Disney down low, but it's going to go off Cawthorn's knee and out of bounds. Possession stays with the Lady Pioneers. Still no fouls on the Lady Pioneers here in the quarter. Very disciplined third quarter from the Lady Pioneers so far. Tolliver on the wing, looking down low. Disney, Disney couldn't haul in the pass. It's kind of out of reach for her, but ball's going to go out of bounds off Disney and go right back to the Lady Green Jays. She was using Kira McGee. And I think uh, McGee may have pulled the chair out from under there, and Disney wasn't expecting it. I think that's exactly right. Three-pointer on the way from Hughes. No good. Hyman pulls the rebound over from Disney, and the put-back attempt from McGee is good. Nice interior passing there from Hyman. Disney gives it back to Armani Tolliver. Tolliver shouting, trying to set up a play here. Down to a one-point lead, Kirk. Yes, it is. Armani Tolliver's shot's no good. Tried to spin it off the backboard. She was fouled, and we'll get two shots here. And we are getting set up for an intense fourth quarter, Tim. And Anaya Boone checking right back into the game for Ball State. I, wait a minute. They just called that foul on Nye Rankins. He said number five, and that's not correct. So. Yeah, I don't know how he got a foul on Nye Rankins there, Tim. Yeah. Now, we got to find out who the foul's on. He, he said number five, but that was incorrect. Okay, number one, Kira McGee. That's her fourth foul. That makes a difference right there. Yes, it does. First free throw good. From Armani Tolliver. Her first point of the ball game. It's a nice drive that she had and almost got the layup to go. Second free throw good from Tolliver. The Lady Pioneers must have been very confident she was going to make two because they had nobody under they didn't, the They had on nobody. The, everybody, the everybody was back. Hyman gets the down low. Hyman's shot. No good, but fouled. Looked like by Anaya Boone there. That's the first team foul for the Lady Pioneers here in the third quarter. Tia Hyman at the line. This is the first of two. She has nine points in the contest so far. She seems like she can get uh, any shot she wants. Just hasn't been able to get him to drop, just like those two free throws, but got a rebound out of it. Now it's in the corner. 
looking for a shot. She'll kick it all the way back out Best. Best was wide open. Feed it right back down to Hyman. They're feeding that paint. Cawthorn in the corner. Now Cawthorn driving, kicks it out on the wing. Drive, floater on the way. An awkward looking floater, but gets it to fall. Number 11, Amani Collar. And we now have under two minutes to play in this third quarter with a one point Lady Pioneer lead. Disney gives it back to Tolliver. Being guarded by Cawthorn on the near wing. Tolliver now driving baseline, kicks it all the way back out. Nia Rankin, she's got five seconds on the shot clock. Got to make something happen here. Rankins drives, tried to get the wraparound pass around Cawthorn. Would have worked. If so, Armani Tolliver was wide open on the other block. But just outside of her reach, and it's going to go back to Jackson State here with a chance to take the lead. Lady Piners have been in the lead pretty much the whole game, except for maybe a couple minutes there at the end of the second quarter due to Cawthorn. And she has the ball now working on Nia Rankins to Bess. Bess with a three-pointer off the front of the rim. No good. Battle for the rebound between three Lady Pioneers. Almost rebounded by Cawthorn for Jackson State, but Anaya Boone finally hauled it in. Tolliver trying to set up an offense here. Trying, probably trying to dribble out that clock as much as she can. Near Caw turn over there. Cawthorn made her pick up her dribble. It's Rankins again. Rankins spin move, trying to drive. She fell down trying to drive, wanted a foul called. Now it's going to be Jackson State pushing the pace the other way. No look, bounce pass down low to McGee. Audrey White's going to pick up the foul and one with a chance to make it a three-point play. And Not a good foul there from Audrey White. No, you got to make sure she doesn't... Uh Get that shot off, but yeah, if you're going to foul Leah Hughes, you gotta do everything in your power to make sure that shot does not go in. We have 28 seconds to play in this third quarter, and a one point Jackson State lead. Free throw is no good, hauled in by Anaya Boone. Shot clock of no issue here is they've now turned it off. Tolliver hands it off to Rankins. Rankins had White back door wide open, but White faded to the corner. Now it's going to be Boone. Boone right-handed layup's going to be good. And a clock will run down to zeros. And in back-to-back -back quarters, Anaya Boone's had a buzzer beater to put the Lady Pioneers in the lead both times. And your score at the end of three quarters, the visiting Jackson State Lady Green Jays 45 and your Volunteer State Lady Pioneers 46. We're going to take a quick break here during this quarter change. You're listening to the Vol State Sports Network. We are back here for the fourth quarter as your Lady Pioneers lead the visiting Lady Green Jays by one, 46-45. We are set up here for a good fourth quarter. Lady Pioneers will get the ball first here, moving left to right. If you're just now joining us on YouTube, Lady Pioneers in your bottom right-hand corner, Lady Lady Green Jays in your bottom left. Tolliver was tangled up in the corner, trying to find Anaya Boone down low. Right-handed layup from Boone, no good. Rebounded by hearing of the Lady Green Jays. We're going to get a foul called here. 
Nia Boone with her third foul. She and Kayla Northrup have three fouls for the Lady Pioneers. Lady Green Jays in a little bit worse foul trouble. Floater on the way there from Bess. Too much on it. Battle for the rebound. Finally hauled in by Anaya Boone. Sets the screen for Amari Tolliver, who's able to finally advance it to the front court. Tolliver to Disney. Gives it back to Amari. Amari Tolliver. Ball goes flying away, finally hauled in by Jackson State. We're going to get a whistle blown here. Looks like a foul on Emma Disney. Haley Davis and Kayla Northrup checking into the game here for the Lady Pioneers for Audrey White and Armani Tolliver. Nine minutes to play in this one. Lady Pioneers lead by one. Here comes Hughes in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Air ball, too much on it. Hauled in by Anaya Boone. I believe that's Jemiah Herring's first three-point attempt. North up in the wing, finds Haley Davis. Davis thought about a three-pointer. They're going to get her with a travel call there. And I don't know about yeah, that Yeah, I don't one. know about that one either. I didn't see her really travel. All right. I was wondering how long McGee and Cawthorn would be sitting on the bench. She's got answered. I'm guessing uh, they'll be in the contest for the next eight minutes and 40 seconds. I think you're right, Tim. There you go, Cawthorn. Finds corner McGee. Back top of the key collar. Disney. Got a hand on the crossover attempt there, but they stay with it. Cawthorn driving, right-handed layup, no good. She had a good look at the basket there, just couldn't get it to fall, and now it's Anaya Boone. Boone heading up the other way for the Lady Pioneers. Being guarded by Cawthorn, arguably the two best players tonight on the floor going at each other there, and we're going to foul on Cawthorn. Her third foul. So Cawthorn, Collier, and Hyman with three fouls and McGee with four for the Lady Green Jays. North up to Davis on the wing, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Boone trying to post up down low. Disney top of the key with five seconds. Got to shoot Davis that. has got to get a shot off. Spin move, shot is up, but they're gonna get her on another travel here before. Yeah, that seemed more like a travel than the uh, Yeah, that was more of a travel one. than the first one. As now Haley Davis will take a seat here. Snow Scott checking in for her. Carthorn crosses half court. Trying to work on Rankins once again. Gives it back to McGee. McGee spin move. Turn around mid-range. No good. Got a good look at the basket. Yes, Better look did. than I thought she was going to get. Just couldn't get it to fall. Scott. Kicks it to Rankins. Rankins trying to set up a play, calling for Northup. Now Coach Key calling for Rankins to come towards him on the near wing. I think they both had two different plays in mind. And they're going to get Rankins on a, on a travel, and that's three straight travels for Vol State. And I didn't really get to see that one there as I got this nice little box and rail in front of me. But <laughs> Well, Coach Key was right in the way too, so <laughs> she might have been trying to avoid the coach. Maybe Hughes' shot was no good once again. Kayla Northrop pulls it in. Northrop looks like going to get fouled by Malaya Hughes there. He's trying to break out the two-person trap. Northrop finds Disney in the front court. Disney will hold on to the ball. Gives it right back to Kayla Northrop. Northrop picked up by Cawthorn. Heavy on-ball defense from the Lady Green Jays. Somebody Scott tries. on the wing, looking down low for Disney, kind of behind Disney, but really in the only spot between two Lady Green Jays. Now it's Cawthorn blocked by Naya Rankins. Yep, yep. But she didn't get, must not have got any uh, arm or uh, I thought she had gotten arm. I was, I was waiting for that whistle. I was waiting for it too. Uh, not a whole lot of air gotten, but... Uh, Cawthorn didn't necessarily jump for that layup either. Jackson State kicks it out, top of the key. Down low, Hyman back out 
And I think we're getting we're gonna get another travel. We're gonna get a three second three violation second. on Tia Hyman. Demia Best checking in. Hit a we've hit a little standstill in scoring here, Tim. There has been none scoring here in the fourth quarter. Six and a half to play. Ball was tipped from behind by Cawthorn on Kayla Northup and good hustle from Cawthorn to not let the ball go out of bounds. Now she'll try to take it coast to coast in the corner looking for Bess. Pass was a little slow, didn't allow Bess to get a three-pointer off, but now a three-pointer on the way, no good from Jackson State. It was number one, uh, Kara McGee on that one. Now the Disney down low, Disney spin move shot was blocked by Hyman. It's going to go out of bounds off Hyman as well. It's a nice spin move. She just couldn't get away from the reach of the 6-1 Tia Hyman. Out of Jackson, Tennessee, a sophomore. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, Almost on by Cawthorn off the inbound path, pass. Northrop driving, now down low, Anaya Boone. She Boone. Had her. Right-handed layup, no good. She had a good look at the basket. It was kind of fading away from the basket as well. Now it's a two-on-one the other way. Best down low to number 11. That's Collier. It's going to be good, and it's back to a Jackson State lead here. If you're the Lady Pioneers, I'd say is keep feeding Anaya Boone the way she's been shooting the ball all night. She had great positioning, as she has it right here. If she can control it. Trying to get it again, it was knocked out of bounds that time by Collier again. Help side there by Amani Collier. We'll have a full timeout by the Lady Pioneers. Coach Key not liking what he sees there. So we'll take a short break here with the Lady Green Jays taking a one-point lead with five minutes, 30 seconds to go in the contest. You're listening to the Ball State Sports Network. We are back here from Pickle Fieldhouse in Gallatin, Tennessee. For the final five and a half minutes of this Lady Pioneers versus Lady Green Jays game, Lady Pioneers trail by one, just 46-47 to Jackson State here. And a pretty back and forth game so far in a very defensive fourth, fourth quarter. North of, thought she had a shot there, but didn't want to try and attempt it over the 6-1 Tia Hyman, and I don't blame her. Are we going to get another three? Another that three time on second. Anaya Boone, I believe. Yes, that she was waiting for that ball to come in to her. Okay, the Lady Pioneers, I think, have gotten themselves in trouble by a little slow retreat. I think number zero, Bess, getting fouled, holding her lower back there. Emma Disney with her second foul, but they said it was before the shot. Bess holding that hamstring, limping into the corner there for the Lady Green Jays. It's going to be a drive by Kira McGee, and it's good, and it's a three-point Lady Green Jay lead, and I think that's their biggest lead of the game. Of one of the very few leads they've had, and the clock bleeds under five minutes now. Here we go, Rankins on the, on the wing to Disney. Going to need to find Anaya Boone. Anaya, let's see if they can. Kayla Northup from three on the wing, just off the front of the rim. Great attempt by Anaya Rankins. And it's going to stay with the Lady Pioneers, a bang, bang play. Good uh, scramble for that rebound by Anaya Rankins fighting to Leah Cawthorn. Cawthorn got a hand on it to knock it out of bounds. Emma Disney getting some positioning under... 
Ball's in Anaya Boone's hands. He kicks it out. Northrop, Northrop banks in a three from the wing. And we're going to get a timeout on the floor, just a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here. But it's going to be tied at 49 with four and a half minutes to go. Out of the hand right there, Kurt, again, from our vantage point. You could see that shot going up, and there wasn't any way it was going near the rim. And it veered to the right a little yes, bit, it hit, the, hit that backboard in the right spot. And we now have uh, a banked-in three-pointer by each team. So the bank's open here in Gallatin tonight. Bank's open on Wednesday night, I guess. <laughs> I haven't heard anybody call that yet, but uh, Kayla Northrup with her first three that's five points for her. Ellie Davis has two threes. Audrey White, one. Snow Scott with one. So two, three, four, five made threes for the Lady Pioneers. Best driving on Scott. Scott, Scott falls, but Best tried to look for Hyman down low, and it was stolen by Anaya Boone. Now a chance to take the lead for the Lady Pioneers on the other end here. Northrop almost loses the ball. Now she'll drive. Right-handed layup from Northrop. Just too much on it. Doesn't get it to go. It's a nice look and a nice move by Northrop to get to the basket. Now it's all the way to the other end. Boone tried to set a charge. I guess she's expecting the contact. Yeah, but Might have been a little bit, bit of a flop. She might have gone yeah. down a little hair too soon. Kayla Northrop with a nice drive uh, last possession, but... She was just a little too out of control. Disney working, gives it to Northrop, who is driving just short on the right-handed layup. She wanted a foul, but now it's three and a half minutes to go, tied at 49. Maybe. Cawthorn, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Nia Rankins, just short. I think everyone was holding their breath if you're a Ball State fan on that shot, the way Cawthorn's been shooting the ball tonight. She doesn't have a point in the second half, though. Pioneers have only scored three points, and the Lady Green Jays only four, which gets us to 49-49. Looking down, though, Northrop was looking for Disney. Pass was stolen by Collier for the Lady Green Jays. Now she'll go coast to coast with a right-handed layup, and it's going to be good with under three minutes to play in this one. 51-49, Jackson State leads. Amani Collier scored the last six points for the Lady Green Jays. Aya Rankin's trying to set up a play at half court. 15 seconds on the shot clock, two and a half to play. Rankin's being defended by McGee. 10 seconds to go now. She'll find Disney. Northrop was won the ball at the top of the key. It was a bad pass from Disney. All the way, caught through on the other end. Right-handed layup's good. And it's up to a four-point lead here for the Lady Green Jays. Northrop was calling for the ball at the top of the key. She was coming off a screen by Boone. The pass is just behind her. Boone, left-handed layup, no good. Left it just short. Disney grabs a rebound, but it's fouled. And I think that is McGee picking up that foul, maybe. Her, her reaction said it was. Mia Bess uh, picks up her second, number zero. So it's about three of them reaching in there on Emma Disney who tried to go up with that left hand. She'll be at the free throw line for two shots. First shot's good from Disney. 2.04 to play. Lady Pioneers trail by three. Second free throw from Disney, no good. Just too much on it. Rebounded by Bess of the Lady Green Jays. She'll take her time dribbling the ball up the floor here. Picked up by Snow Scott at half court. Now it's in the corner, back out to Bess, top of the key. Now Cawthorn, back to McGee. McGee gets trapped in the corner, now finds Bess. Bass back in the corner, McGee. McGee driving, pull up, jumper. Tried to get a bank shot, didn't get it to go. Cawthorn fades away and a tough bucket from Cawthorn. Maybe could have got the foul, but she got the shot to go nonetheless, and it's a minute and a half to play. Five point Lady Green Jay lead. Need a quick bucket here if you're Ball State. Can't use the full shot clock like they've been doing. Davis now driving left hand. She's fouled. And it'll either be Cawthorn or Bess picking up the foul, and it's going to be Cawthorn. That's her fourth.
Okay, with the Lady Pioneers are uh, on defense, they might want to jump from foul. Disney. No good. Rankins hauls it in. Put back, no good. Disney's shot attempt, no good. Rankins saves it from going out of bounds to Davis. Maybe now it's Cawthorn and Scott Ball finally picked up by Cawthorn after it almost goes out of bounds. Now in the corner, Collier had a wide open three pointer. Takes. Passes up the shot opportunity. We're going to get a timeout, looks like, from Jackson State. Yeah, they want to work some clock. Five seconds or a 55-50 lead here. They, they don't need a, a quick bucket. They need some time to go off that clock. So 24 seconds to go on the shot clock. If they use the whole thing up, that puts it down to under 30 seconds with either a five up to an eight-point lead if uh, – they work it right. So Pioneers have scored four points here in the fourth quarter after quarters of 17, 13, and 16 have just absolutely gone. Actually, a lot of turnovers. We don't keep uh, track of the turnovers, but we had three not straight as many. travels there for us. We did a three second violation in there as well as uh, the Lady Pioneers. Need a stop, a steal, not just a stop. They need a steal and then come down. They don't necessarily need a three-point shot, but I'd say uh, whoever your best one or two uh, playmakers are, let them drive the basket, maybe get the uh, fifth foul on Cawthorn or McGee, get them out of the game. So here we go. Best being picked up by Davis. There Ball's going to go out of bounds. Davis forces is. a turnover, and ball will go back to the Lady Pioneers. Now it all boils down to can you make can you make them pay? Let's see who the ball's going to go to here. I expect Anaya Boone or Haley Davis taking the next shot. Rankins finds Boone. Boone working on McGee. Nice behind the back from Boone. Almost lost it. Got to get on a deck for that. All the way back to McGee. McGee up the court. Cawthorn is she's going to get fouled by Snow Scott. And that's where the not having enough fouls in the quarter uh, will hurt. Now the next foul will put Jackson State at the line. Best gets the ball in and fouled by Haley Davis. Now it comes down to shooting free throws, which has not been one of the uh, attributes for Jackson State here. <laughs> First free throw's good off a of bank shot, and the bank's open tonight, Tim. Bank is open. You don't see that too many times no, on you free don't. throws, even less than on three point. She second, hit two. Second one was nothing but net. We're going to get a timeout here from Coach Key and the Lady Pioneers. Outscored 12 to 4 here in the fourth quarter. Anaya Boone has 22 points, has yet to score here in the fourth quarter. May have just uh, gotten tired here, is about all I can think. His First game back from the month-long break as well, so maybe that has something to play into as well. Well, Coach Key, of course, is now the may, interim head coach for the I'm men's I say team. we may have saw that on Monday night as it was a tough battle. First 75% of the game, they kind of just unraveled their form at the end. The, uh, so Coach Key may not have as much time to condition his lady pioneers as he's handling both coaching duties with the retirement of Rusty Melvin for the men's team. Up, still, we got the Scott, ball. Scott finds Disney, gives it to Davis. Davis trying to find something. Step back mid-range, no good. Rebounded by Bess. Bess is fouled by Nia Rankins. And Bess will go to the free throw line here with 20 seconds left to play.
First of two free throws here from Bess. On the way, no good. Second quarter, she had two free throws, missed both of those. Made her first two of this quarter, but Lady Pioneers looking forward to miss again, and she does. But Rebounded by Hyman. Hyman's shot was no good, but fouled. Uh, once again, I believe Naya, now they're going to say Snow Scott picked up that foul. And once again, I didn't think Snow Scott was there. But yeah, I thought, I thought Naya, matter. yeah, I was about to say it doesn't matter, but I thought Naya Rankins was there. But Hyman misses her first free throw attempt. We have 18 and a half to play. Second free throw is good, and we're going to get a timeout here from Coach Key. Once again, fifty-eight to fifty. Time is running out for Volunteer State ladies. Eighteen and a half seconds, down by eight. Kayla Northrup with that bank in three and one free throw by Emma Disney. The only scoring is Lady Pioneers had a forty-six to forty-five lead at the end of the third quarter but uh, find themselves down by eight. Next game for the women and men coming up on Saturday at, Wa or not at Wabash, but I just played them, Walter State over in Morristown, Tennessee, afternoon contest. And then next home game will be Saturday the 21st. Play Chattanooga State. The pass in was tipped out of bounds off uh, Collier for the Lady Green Jays. It'll stay with the Lady Pioneers. Scott to throw it in. Pass was tipped by McGee. Was intended for Nia Rank because I think McGee's just going to dribble this one out. No contest from State. the Lady Pioneers, so I guess they will just let it ride, and we'll have a 58-50 to 50 final. Lady Green Jays moved to three and three in conference play, and the Lady Pioneers moved to three and four. Very disappointing fourth quarter there for Ball State. Just could not get the offense going, Kurt, while the Lady Green Jays did enough, scoring 13 yeah, they, points. They did just enough to win the game, Tim. And most of it was just turnovers, and the Lady Green Jays just able to make Ball State just pay off their turnovers. The uh, height and the athleticism, I think, of the Lady Green Jays finally uh, outdid the uh, Lady Pioneers. Prevailed. They just, yeah. So, but 20 minutes from now, we'll see how uh, the Pioneers do against the men's Jackson State team. So uh, please come back and join us. This is Tim Reese for Kurt Raines. You've been listening to the Ball State Sports Network where Jackson State Lady Green Jays took this game 58 to 50 over the Lady Pioneers. Thank you for listening. God bless you if you don't come back for the men's game and we'll talk to you in a week and a half on the 21st on a home game. Good night, everybody.